Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Artifacts and Antiquity, which is a horror game from the same creator of The Man from the Window, where you work as a security guard in an antique warehouse. Ring, ring, ring. Thank you for calling NC Electronics Support Line. My name is Gracie, how may I help you? Oh, there's the animal. There we go. And it's the character from a previous game. Hello, madam. The computers we have here at my job has suddenly stopped working. And I can't figure out what's wrong with it. It was perfectly fine yesterday. But now it won't even turn on. Let me guess, it's an IXY mall desktop? Yes, that's just exactly. How did you know? There's a ton of folks calling about issues regarding the I IXYs right about now. Just like those new NVIDIA cards. I hate to see it, but you're probably better off getting a new computer if you can. Preferably one not made by our company. What? And why is that? Well, this is the part where I'm supposed to tell you about how we're working on a solution and not to worry. But that's not true at all. The IXYs all have a special chip that's made from an extremely cheap metal called Nyon. The first problem with the chips is that they only have a lifespan of a few years tops, and after all that they'll start to rust. So she's going to get out and get the chip replaced. See, now that's the other problem. Nyon was recently outlawed because of how volatile it is. And NC Electronics no only use a dangerous material just to save on production costs. So now our main product is a liability and the company's in straight up meltdown mode because of shady dealings I finally caught up with them. I just had to work from home today because it's like the final hours of Pompeii in the office right about now. And to be honest with you, I didn't feel like dealing with all that today. Excuse my asking, ma'am, but are you okay? You sound rather dejected at the moment. I'm fine, except not really. I've given my all to this company, and now everything's just over. Curtains. You know what the higher-ups had to say about all this? Nothing. There you go. All the executives after have cushioning new positions lined up or just plan to retire. Meanwhile, the nobodies like me get nothing. I don't even know where I'll go after this. Huh. In that case, might suggest checking the Red Page Post website. A good friend of mine once had some trouble finding work. But then he managed to find something on there. I think I've heard of that one before. I'll go check that out right now. Well, you're just the sweetest thing. Taking the time to help out little me. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, I should probably tell you this too. Get rid of that computer immediately. Like, right now. Oh my god! Once that chip starts to rust, the whole thing tends to overheat pretty quickly. Whoa! Well, sir, thanks for calling NC Electronics. You have a nice evening. It's gonna be a warm one. I better start searching then. Look out, world. Crazy's coming for you. You instantly know it's like, okay, aside from the character designs, you instantly know it's the same developer because the, the, the way the camera turns, like, pauses a little bit, and then, like, boop, 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 like that. See, after getting turned down for 30 different places, I ended up here. I mean, really started Miss Faye. What? There's fairies now, too? We need that just to be his knees. I ain't put too much confidence in hiring from online at first, but it seems like you'll do just fine. Or are you just part butterfly? I don't know. I don't know things anymore. You think I know things? I ain't too much to do around here at night, so this place is just a shipping warehouse. It actually makes more sense if this is a mythological world. And that, that someone ex like, it's not like these animals evolved into like humanoid shapes. It's just like, there's all sorts of creatures. And this is just how the world ended up. Just everything was, like, here. Dragons, fairies. Wait, well, wait, maybe we'll see a dragon. You, you don't know. Now, just between us, they really only ship stuff that nobody really wants to deal with. Like those computers. For some reason, they pay us to make sure ain't nobody gonna break in and steal nothing in here. Now, come on and follow me. Let me show you the office. Okay. You know what this place are? The Stahl Brothers. They built from the ground up, they did. You might have heard of them already from somewhere. I don't know. But they're just the kindest folks you ever meet. That's unusual for this world. Sometimes on the weekends, they come out here in their trucks and run moonshine out the back. But don't tell Bell anybody now. Moonshine? Oh yeah, it's real good too. I'll give them to pour you some next time. 
No, okay, I'll, that's okay. I think I'll pass on that one. Suit yourself, hon. Why, why are you just like a, a shadow silhouette? That's Mike. Well, no, there were shadow people, right? Say hi. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Don't pay him no mind. He's just being silly. Nice to meet you. Same. This is our state of the art security system. The Styles days are chained a bunch of old TVs together. They had hooked up with some cameras at the thrift store. Works like a charm. It would. What we do if a thief shows up? If it ain't something I ever mere Mike and Al ourselves, we just go home. Yep. So we just sit in and wait for something to happen? Not always. Sometimes a signal from the movie channel comes in real good, then we watch that. And then occasionally something called Foxy comes around. That's a fun time. Sweet. We'll get to that later. Diane ain't like other nights here at the warehouse. The stalls don't accept the contract to move some pretty pricey looking stuff. It's such ship out tomorrow. I don't know where all done come from, but it sure is fancy than that stuff we usually ship out of here. There's an old coffin up on Gamma Triple. And right before you got here, me and Mike start hearing some weird stuff over in that camera. Brooke says if you hear something strange, then we gotta check it out. You're new, so I ain't about to send you over there. So I mean, me and Mike's gonna go check it out. You Japanese are staying here and make sure we get there and back safely. So go ahead and pick up that old radio on the desk. There's a little tab that you need to press in order to use it. All you can do is get one of us over to Camera Triple. Think you can handle that? Absolutely. Just talk to either one of us and we'll head in. Let's get her done. Yep. Yep. I'm listening. Ain't much of this job, but it's honest work. Yeah, huh? I'm glad you're here. It makes everything a whole bunch easier, you know? I'm gonna poke out here real quick and see what we're dealing with. You got it. So differences between who I send? Wow, you are so fast. This is interesting. Check that out. We got something. I made it. Nice looking out there. Go ahead and get that monitor I'm on. Tap them and take a closer look. Is there gonna be like a mummy? I mean, there's all sorts of other things here. Would the mummy be like normal in this world? Just like, ah, oh, it's just a mummy. Anything? Nothing. I ain't moving, I can't hear nothing. I'm gonna back that way. Okay. The near limitless level of insolence you mortals exude on a constant basis is now doomed you all. Repent now and allow us to reclaim what is rightfully ours, else your kind will not live to see another day. Huh? I <sighs> wanted the last hope of you manning after recital from the hands of this stupid hick town. Listen. This is all moving so fast! What's going on? Now do you understand? Every single artifact that's being housed here is stolen. Ain't about to believe that. The stalls would never steal nothing. You hate seeds, don't listen. I never imply that your employer knowingly accepted our stolen treasures. They are irrelevant in this. That does not change the fact that those artifacts are returned soon. The armies of the ancient gods will be unleashed upon your world. But that's not fair. Why are we being punished for what someone else did? Them was the rules. Despite your reservations about you uncultured yokels, I am on your side in this. Destroying humanity for the sake of seven little trinkets that we don't even use anymore seems quite foolish. For this reason, I have come to help you. Bring all seven artifacts to me before the gods' patient runs out, and all will be forgiven. However, even with my help, this would not be an easy task for you three. For both Sekmen and Forf are placing their scrums upon a scale against you. They both wish to bring about the end of humanity and will do everything in their power to stop you. 
This hourglass represents how long you have until the gods grow tired of waiting. You must bring each artifact to me before it runs out. Lastly, I can use my powers to show you where each item is located. All you need to do is ask. Any questions? Yeah, what about... No, now shut up. Go! What? Um, you go. I don't like this. Not one bit. Me either. Sorry that your first night has turned into all this, huh? No things get kind of strange around town at night, but don't nothing usually happen here. There's nothing like this. Don't apologize, it's not your fault after all. I know, I know. I still feel responsible. What? I mean to be rude, but who exactly are you? Who I am is not important. Not anymore, at least. I am nameless. That's all you need to know, mortal. It's in the container. So, number four. Right. What? I still am not quite sure what you are. Oops. Go back there. Search the room. I'll find that thing in a jiffy. You found the... Grail. I see it. Bring it back now. How do we bring it back? Uh, Mr. Mike? Hello? This damn thing's gone and gone and went out again. Don't worry, honey, does it sometimes. When it still starts acting up, it just needs to be reset. You gotta go out there in the lobby and look at the computer. It'll say it needs a password. Don't tell nobody now, but it accepts about anything. So get some keys on it and I'll reset it. Better not die. I mean, see our friend over there. Oh, wrong way. Welcome. That was easy enough. You've successfully retrieved the first of our artifacts. Do not get overconfident. The servants of Segment have been tasked with preventing you from completing your mission. The Sentinel has now arrived. In life, he was a steadfast guardian for our kingdom. In death, he is allowed to keep his mortal body as reward. Now he is here. Watch carefully for him and do not enter the same room as he. Should you cross paths with him, I will not be able to save you. Now go. So what do you do now? Is there a downside to like, having you help us find it, or what? Okay. So it'll be... No. I think it's number eight. Kinda hard to see, it's kinda dark. It's gonna be darker on my screen than it's gonna be on yours, by the way. Go, Faye. Okay, I think the enemies are activated now. What? If what's your fear, Faye had wanted to a room occupied by the Sentinel. And being no match for an elite servant to the gods, she probably carried off into the afterlife. Holy cow! Time and time again, her three adult children had played with her to find a job that wasn't as dangerous as working security during the night. What? But due to her enduring friendship with the owners, she stayed. Her sense of loyalty had inadvertently led to her own demise. Well, yeah, like a tragic backstory to it. Okay. 
Oh! There is the servant. I thought this would be like something dramatic. It was just like, where's Waldo? Stretch the room. Oh god! When many traps have fall off, I've been triggered. By gazing to it, the very patch of the time itself began to hasten. Although a fair amount of time had now slipped away, Faye was unharmed. Interesting. Now what do we let time, like, completely go away? Does every time you start the wrong place get you one of those traps? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow. Dan was here. What? Oh, you know what it is? Yeah, you know what it is? Is, um, when I died, it reset the location. And, like, I re when I uh, reloaded or whatever. Okay, so time ran out. Unfortunately for our group, the limited time was up. The gods had no more patience left to spare, and no more mercy would be found. As dawn approached, the long dormant army of the ancients was unleashed upon the world. Was such a grave retribution warranted over a seemingly insignificant slight? Could bring about the end of humanity over seven small and insignificant objects be justified? That no longer mattered. The end was nigh. You know, this not as like hardcore stuff go down. And but here now it's here. In the one we thought it was in the first place, remember? So Okay, so I think it does reset when you continue. And we were fine. You have now retrieved two of our seven artifacts. Keep the pace, but proceed carefully, for well, the assassin has now arrived. In life, he was an unstoppable force among our people. In death, he was allowed to keep his mortal body as a reward. Now he is here. He will be much more difficult than the Sentinel to locate. Watch the shadows closely, for, he will no, for you will no doubt be able to see his piercing red eyes glaring back at you. Ye if anything, you're easier to see than the dang, uh, Sentinel. Okay. So, you go. Go out. Let's look where the item is. It's in the corner with the red barrels. Not there. Not there. There's red barrels there. So it's gotta be number two. Okay. So you get a search in here. And I think in the jiffy. There we go. Now we can't go back in number triple. Where is Red Eyes? 
Oh, right there. Do you want to do dialogue anyway? Hey, why do we have to be the ones to do all this anyway? Because I'm not about to. Oh, fair enough. How many of these do we need? Seven? That's triple. Perhaps my trust in you, Country Bumpkins, was entirely misplaced after all. I suggest you not disappoint me. There's something else I wanted to ask you. I'm sure there is. Why are you helping us? Do I need a reason? As I told you before, destroying humanity for the sake of seven inconsequential objects has seemed very fair to me. And I am not heartless. Oh, they made me not so bad after all. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Your wooden pallet. Near some shells. Okay, you go. Don't mind asking how long you worked here. Oh, you're now asking me to go way back. I grew up with the stalls, and one day they came and said, We're about to start a shipping company, you want in? I was in my 20s at the time, and had a bit of a mean streak going, too. Since I was in trouble with the law and having issues finding work elsewhere, I started working for him. I got plenty of stories from back then. I'll have to tell you more someday. I'd love to hear it. Go get this, go get that. Security guards on a bunch of dad gum couriers. Yeah, this isn't what I signed up for either. If we don't get this done, it'll be the end of all of us. Bah. So, wooden pallet. I see one right there. Says number 13. I mean, we have to go number four out of our way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome. Anyone else shift? Search. Got it. Fantastic. So don't go number four. Well, we don't need to worry about number six anyway. I'm just whatever mechanic they're going to introduce, because I mean, you know like, it's not just going to be these two things. You've completed the first half of your task this night. However, the third and final servant of segment is now here. The priest has arrived. It's difficult for me to put in simple terms what has become of him. In life, he ascended. Now his spirit and body are no longer tied to this world, yet he is also unable to cross into the next. Your sad mole eyes would not be able to see him. Take my ank. If you hold it in focus, you will then be able to locate him. You can use it in the same way you use that device which you call radio. Now go. Interesting. Let me guess, you have something else to ask me. You seem to know a lot about the realm of the gods and stuff like that. Are you... a goddess? Yeah. Well, duh. I thought that much was obvious. I don't know the Stall Brothers like Faye does. They better give us a raise after all this. Now that I can get behind. Yeah, they gave our five cent raise. How about that? We really appreciate your work here. Making out of this alive, I hope you'll consider staying. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I just love it, dealing with Egyptian goddesses. I mean, I actually do 
actually, uh, I'm not being ironic or like funny here. This is pretty cool. Um, yeah. So. Okay, number six is bad. Number six is no go. Near the diver's suit? In the back corner. Diver's suit. That's not diver's suit. Can't... Gotta get down on the ground. Number 12. So don't go number 11, don't go number 6, don't go number 7. Ask to come down like... Da, 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 like that. Go. Come on. You're exactly at the right one. Yay. Now we need to get back alive. Don't go number 13. We need to go number 7. Should be number 1. Where's Red Eyes? Either way, we have to go number 7. Like, there's no, like, if hands, or buts about that. Like, there's no other way you can really go. Don't go number 13. No go number number triple. Okay. Get out of there. That's five. You only have two more to go now. Well done. What? What, no question this time? I've grown to expect your constant ramblings, and now I'm almost disappointed. I'm all out of things to ask right now. But think of something later, I'll let you know. See that you do. How are you holding up? Well, there ain't too much for you on your first night. It's all a bit much, yeah? But I'll be fine. Good. Yeah, huh? No more dialogue? Okay. Okay, so let me look out where it is. You look at that again? Oh, you know the red barrels again, okay. Of course, you know it's number two. Don't go number eight. We have to go to... Avoid that one. Okay, so no, it's pretty much a straight shot, like... Dun, 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 dun. Go for it. Search the room. Got it. Just can't go number nine. I think it's just a straight. I mean, there's only like one way to go to like not get caught. And they don't. I'm, well, I'm assuming they don't make it see so it's impossible to win or anything. So. Get out of there!
Any surprises the last one? Seems like, oh, okay. <laughs> now the gods are here, that's fine. Seems that both Sekhmet and Foth have themselves have now arrived as well. This is unprecedented. I do not know what they intend to do here. Regardless of what tactic they will try to employ, just know that my ank will most likely stop it. If something seems amiss, stand strong and point the ank towards it. Good luck. You'll need it. I hear voices and stuff. Yeah, this ring's definitely a miss. They are here. You okay? I reckon so. Yeah? Oh no, your last dialogue is glitched out. So number five is bad, number nine is okay. Whoa. What does that mean? Fine then, observe. Diver. Again. It's the far one. Number 12 indeed. Whoa! What? Get out. Get out. My friend. So you have to go number nine. I'm gonna get you number twelve, okay? Don't think I don't see you there. Try and touch my time. Switch the room. Got it. Wait, well, if, if they want to get these back, why are they trying to stop us? Number nine is bad. We need to get to number four. Make a U. So, don't go to number seven. It's fine. Hey, hey, hey! Nope. Whoa! Okay. Just get up here and just start going. Run, you're almost there. Get out of here. That is a seventh and final item. With these artifacts firmly in my possession, the Ancient One's anger will no doubt be quelled. You corn-fed hillbillies have massively fought at that the end of humanity on this night. Well done. However, it would seem that segment of still does not intend to let you leave this place alive, despite your efforts. Perhaps it is time to show you why these items used to be so important to us. Observe. Uh. When combined correctly, they assume the form of an unstoppable warrior such as this. Behold the Protector, Agent Guardian of our people. His power is now yours to command, mortals. Speak the words and trample fine enemies underfoot. 
Okay, go get him, tiger. So shall it be. I go to kick ass now. See you later. Oh, I actually do control you kicking ass. Okay. So, uh... Yeah, we're kicking ass. Did you go over here? Oh, he just, he just, he just bonked it and it's just left. It's like, oh man, I ain't dealing with that. You go bonk this one. Bonk. Bam, on the complain. I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. You might be bugged out. Bonk. Hey. Well played, mortals, I yield. Come out, segment. It's pointless to you now. No, this isn't over yet. Oh, but it is. The artifacts have all been reclaimed. The protector has been assembled. And your servants have already run for the hills, have they not? There's no reason to continue our efforts this night. I suppose not. If there's no more to be done here, then let us return home at once. This place reeks anyway. Of poor. Wait. Oh? Why are you two so dead on destroying humanity anyway? It sucks. Why indeed? What a silly question. The sooner we bring about the end of mankind, the sooner we get to remake it. Have you ever created anything? It's quite fun. So you're just playing SimCity? What? You can't just erase us and start over like we don't matter. Says you. We've already done it plenty of times before. If you don't like our methods, then come stop us. Oh, that's right, you can't. You're far too insignificant for that, aren't you? I'll send the IRS after you. Ha ha ha. But enough of that. Let us return home, Sekiret. Yes, let's. Okay. Pay them no mind. You've done a great deal of good in this night. They are simply upset that things did not go their way. Despite all the mighty talk, they can only be as powerful as you let them become. Keep that in mind. Thanks, I'll remember that. With that, I suppose just leave as well. We ain't got it, you know. What's the rush? Uh, hmm. Perhaps you have a point. My time away from the gods' dwelling place has been quite relaxing. I needed a break from the others. I don't know there's more vain than I. Raz and other moron. And Anubis never stops bragging about how many movies he's been in. Enough of them. I think I'm going to stay in this realm for a while. Okay. Apparently everyone's just, just hanging out. And that's exactly what she did. With both the Protector and their slightly vitrilic new friend feeding around, Stall and Co. Shipping Company was never at risk again. Many nights were spent either gossiping about the various goings on around town or being regaled by nameless stories of a long time long past. The five of them enjoyed every minute of it. We live in a very interesting world. Okay, let's have Mike get grabbed. That's a sword. A your friend Mike had wanted to Rumik occupy the assassin. And being no match for an elite servant to the gods, he was probably carried off into the afterlife. Similar to, uh, similarly to others like him, he had too had managed to escape from a desolate dark world, putting his souls on land very much unlike his own. So yeah, they are a shadow person. However, even this was still not enough to protect him from forces beyond his own control. Well, again, it doesn't end when you lose someone. But what happens when you lose both? Okay, so we lost, we lost everyone, basically. With both Faye and Mike missing in action, Gracie was now forced to step up in their place. It took some time, but she managed to show her companion how to properly operate the camera system. The duo pressed on. 
Wait, I'm, I'm playing the... Wow, that's interesting. Can I lose you too now? Oh, like, because we're playing um, this character, we even get to see, like, oh, that's where the thing is. Go out of here. They are here. Now let's lose everybody. It might just be the general game over. Well, she heard Gracie had wanted to room occupied by the Sentinel. It'd be no match at least certain to the gods, she was probably carried off into the afterlife. For no fault of her own, her entire life had suddenly been turned upside down. From being unceremoniously cut from her demanding yet stable customer service job to fighting against ancient and otherworldly forces. All within the span of a few short weeks. And now, with no one left to reclaim the gods' coveted artifacts, the end was nigh. Okay, so let's try winning. We're losing everybody except obviously our main character. So we already know where to get the item. Um. You also we we can see the uh, the priest without the without using any special items too. We just we're just stronger. We're just built different. Search the room. Okay, let me look around. Get out of here. Uh, I gotta go do the thing. How do I use computer? That is the seventh final item. You heal base have some of matches so you can beat your task in this night well done. Not without sacrifices in your pot, of course, but I suppose some things cannot be helped. Now to return these stupid things and end this madness. Oh, it's a pretty different ending, actually. There. My work here is done. Um, you're gonna replace that window, right? I wouldn't count on it. Goodbye. You don't get the cool warrior thing. No bonks. Gracie had quelled the god's anger and survived her ordeal. After being informed of the events that had transpired that night, the Stall Brothers were livid. Their seemingly innocuous contract had cost the lives of both Faye and Mike, and almost brought about the end of humanity. They vowed vengeance and immediately traveled to confront the one whom they accepted the contract from. Gracie was left to handle a job by herself, still haunted by her own inability to save her co-workers. She was never the same after that fateful night. Okay. So, our shadow friend died here, but we got everything. So just one person died. That is the seventh final item. You who believe such a man so say, I don't know. If I was like, of course, I'll just forget about. Never turn these stupid things and this madness. Then you're gonna shoot him for the window, aren't you? So the warrior end is only for the, the true end, happy end. There. My work here is done. 
I'm gonna replace that window, right? I wouldn't count on it. Goodbye. Well, shucks. You can say that again. Gracie and Faye had quelled the gods' anger and survived their ordeal. Yet Mike's absence loomed over them like a dark cloud. Gracie, for her part, took to her new job fairly well despite the circumstances. But no matter how hard she tried, she could not forgive herself for fear to keep both her co-workers safe. Faye did her best to try and move on, but the memories of that fateful night were played relentlessly in her mind. She could not blame herself for circumstances out of her control, nor she could bring herself to blame Gracie either. She simply wished that things could have turned out differently. Okay, so this is the final ending we need to get. There's a seven final item. You have to summon yourself to keep your hands on the mother of the sacrifice or that's what you're going to do. That's what you're There. My work here is done. Oh, you're gonna replace that window, right? I wouldn't count on it. Goodbye. I, uh, I'm kinda lost about Miss Faye here. You're telling me. Gracie and Mike had quelled the gods' anger and survived their ordeal. But they both struggled without Faye. Without her present, Mike became supervisor in her stead. He quickly found himself overwhelmed by the many responsibilities that she had so effortlessly handled. The only thing that outweighed his disdain towards his new position was just how much he missed his old friend. Gracie, for her part, took her job to, took to her new job fairly well. And though nothing was ever outright said, deep down she knew that Mike blamed her for failing to keep Faye safe. She blamed herself, too. Alright, so that's it for Artifacts and Antiquity. Uh, that should be all endings. Of course, the most important ending is the best ending. That's the case of most of these games, because... The Egyptian gods and goddesses are all around us now, and one's just chilling on the couch with us, like... Hey, how you doing? I'm just gonna start living here, you know? It's a sitcom. Um, and we've also confirmed that there are fairy people. Uh, among animals and bug people and everything else. So this world's just got everything. I, I think I was right, where this world is just like... It's not so much people evolved from animals, it's just that there's everything there, right? It, it is basically a, a modern fantasy world. But yeah, so game-wise, we see similar themes as the other games. We are a worker, things just are going bad, there is a mechanic that we have to manage and control. I think the mechanic was a cool idea. I think the execution, as far as difficulty and mechanics, could have been better. It was just, it was just way too easy. The only time, like, the mechanics were really all there and it was kind of doing what it was supposed to do was the fun artifact, where the other, the gods got involved and there was, like, some more things happening. But aside from that, like, it, you'd almost have to, like, purposely lose, like, which I did, to lose. So we lost the tension of, like, some of the other games. Uh, some of the other ones were kind of easy in the first rounds, so they got a little harder towards the end. But there was always, like, a threat of losing. Like, you, you could legitimately mess up and just fail your run. Character-wise, I like the characters. Uh, the premise is fine. It's it's kind of funny, if anything. So I, I have no issue on like that end. It's just we lost it. Aside from the funnel artifact, we lost the tension, which is a little too bad. But once again, I'll, I'll give them credit because they, they do try to do everything different every time. They do try to make horror games with a bit of gameplay and stuff in them, which is rare in the world of indie horror games, surprisingly. But yeah, anyway. So, thank you all for watching Play Artifacts in Antiquity. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.